Hi guys, now um, this is the second video I've recorded today which is um, a pretty rare thing for me because I don't, you know, usually upload great videos on a regular basis as it is. Um, never mind, you know, two videos in one day. Um, but this one will only be a short video, um, I hope. <laughs> it's um, basically um, just giving my thoughts on the um, new on the latest line of IMAX license, a new refresh. Now, you can't see it here, but I've said plenty of times I'm using an iMac now. I got mine at the end of 2010, so I've got one of the um, one of the mid 2010 models. It's um, oh, let's bring up about this minute. It has a 3.06 gigahertz Intel Core i3 processor, four gigabytes of uh, DDR3 RAM, um, and it's What's that thingy my jig? It's graphics card. If I can't remember the exact model, but if I look here, I should find the graphics. There we go. Yeah, it's using an 80 Radeon HD 4670 graphics card. Okay. Um, 4670. Um, it's only got 256 megabytes of graphics memory. Now, the um, Now the <coughs> priced equivalent, the nine hundred ninety nine pounds ones, yeah, and that's right. They've suddenly absorbed the VAT out of nowhere, even though they refused to do it before. But the um, latest, the latest lines. If we look at something of these, um, if I zoom you in a little bit, right, right down to the cheapest one, Intel quad core i five processor. All of their models are sporting quad-core processors now. i5s. Every single one across the board. Now you'd look at that and you'd think, bloody hell, you're getting value for money now. I mean, you know, and I would have looked at it and I originally did and I thought I'd been, I'd been ripped off, you know, with my previous purchase considering people are getting more for less now. However... You look through the specs, okay, this is the cheapest one, the one I got. Now, so it's a 2.5 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5. I have the dual core i3. Um, screen resolution, identical, exactly the same screen, nothing changed there. 4 gig of um, DDR3 RAM is exactly the same, again, still no change. 500 gigabyte hard drive, again, no change. However, this is where the change is. AMD... Radio and HD 6750M with 512 megabytes. Now you look at that and you think, holy shit, the uh, graphic, even the graphics cards have received a major upgrade. There's more um, memory to them and they're a more recent model. However, look again. Hey, AMD Radio and HD 66, I mean 6750M. They're now using mobile graphics cards in their iMacs, in a desktop computer. It's mobile graphics, guys. Mobile graphics are never going to be as good as dedicated desktop graphics cards. Therefore, this card, it's got more graphics memory, but because it's mobile, and it's a more modern model, but because it's mobile, it's not really any better than the previous model. If anything, it's a downgrade in terms of graphics. So they've kept the price while upgrading the processors by downgrading the graphics. Now this might do for your ultimate basic usage and stuff, but when you're thinking of like, you know, you want a game and the likes, then it's really mobile graphics for a desktop computer. I mean, in my opinion at least, it's not acceptable. Um, so I looked at that and I realised I haven't been ripped off. I'd actually got a fair deal because I've not my iMac doesn't have a um, mobile graphics processor. It has a desktop one. So um, that's basically my thoughts on it, more or less. I mean, there are some improvements, but you know, like you know, like I see here, there are some drawbacks as well. 
there's a compromise that they've made to keep it at the same price, which is why I'm thinking that they shouldn't have done this with the processors. Um, therefore, they should. Therefore, they would have been able to have, you know, kept, either kept the same graphics cards that they were using or more powerful desktop ones. Um, so, this is J800R. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.